it so much. I like it. I need lots of clutter. Hi there, my name's Sam, and uh, this episode is just going to be, um, again, focusing on like build by, deco, neighborhood, um, deco, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so we can jump right in here. We've just got a, another little collection of, of creators that uh, I really enjoy their things. Okay, so first up here, um, their Tumblr name, as you can see here, is uh, Drift Satellite. Um, a lot of their custom content, when you download it, has the identifier name of Wendigo, I think if I'm saying that right, Wendigo. So I don't know if maybe that's another kind of namesake from another site or an old name or something, but um, they have a ton of really cool, uh, like these tiled floors and stuff, um, a lot of furniture things that have a, a really cool style. That's one thing I like, especially with a lot of custom content creators, they really um, have show their own style through and their own style of playing they really like they seem to post a lot of pictures of this sort of realistic looking style they look really like hyper realistic um in this picture but they actually work really well even in just like a, a true maxis match um game i have a couple of their posts highlighted this is one of my favorites of theirs um they have this is a road default pack this is what i use in my strange town and this is the um, base texture that I used in the um, Frankenstein roads that I made personal use roads that I made recently. Yeah, this really nice um, red terrain. I used the I used the um, the one that matches with the Curious Bee Desert Road, but I actually really like their red desert, and it kind of makes me want to change back to it. I'm pretty sure I'm using the Curious Bee ones right now, but anyway, there's that one. And then this is like another little post of theirs. This is one of their things that I use a lot is these boxes. I used them in that um, grocery store that I built recently and they're really cool. I just a nice little detail. Um, this is the other thing of theirs that I use a ton is they did recolors of um, this person's uh, converted rose and hydrangea bushes. They're really, really pretty and really useful. But so they're they're a really cool creator. They have a lot of really nice stuff and a really cool style. It's always dangerous when I'm like scrolling through these other like these really nice creators pages and like you see their game pictures and you're like, oh, I want to switch to that style. Like there was one I was scrolling through. They were using like the pooklet hair, like the shiny hairs. One other person, I don't know if it was this one or not, but I was like, oh, maybe I should do that again. <laughs> like, no, no, I shouldn't. I should stay with what I'm doing. Anyway, here's another um, next one. Um, Lemon Lyman Air. Lyman Air. Um, they do a ton of the conversions. Um, I really like a lot of their stuff. Uh, lots of cute. I, I use this a lot. This movie posters. It's got all these fun things. Um, I think most of them are from The Sims 4, but just lots of really cool, cute stuff. That's just nice to have. This one's really cute. Like, see all this, like, so much clutter. Like, there's so much clutter. It's so much. I like it. I need lots of clutter. Lime and air. They do a really good, cool job. This next person is somebody that um, I think is very popular in the Sims community. Um, a lot of people know about him, but I thought they were worth a mention. Um, is Veronica. They do a ton of stuff. I have a lot of their, um, let's see if I can find their, here we go. They have all kinds of build by. So they've got lots of conversion stuff as well. I have, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of their like um, sets with like, um, Wow, I can't say words. Really nice stuff. This is a really nice bathroom set that they've got put together here. I have a lot of their sets, I feel like. I feel like I have a lot of like this, like the bedroom sets and stuff. Really nice. Really good classic stuff. But yeah, I think they're pretty popular. I don't know. They might be on other websites as well, but this is their Tumblr. And then next up is a uh, another cool creator. Um, they, this page is under the name Dread Pirate. But um, it looks like they, they have, I found that they have a, their kind of main page is under the name um, Veronaville Quilting Bee. Um, it's also kind of funny. I realized when looking at their description and stuff, their name is also Sam. <laughs> and they also identify as like a butch lesbian type. And I'm like, okay, is this a, is this a doppelganger? 
<laughs> it's funny, but they, this is their page of all their um, custom content. I have a couple of their things sort of highlighted here. Um, they also do a ton of like create a sim type content, which I'll probably mention them again when I talk about some of my favorite places to get um, create a sim stuff. But this is, I, I like their roads. Um, this road um, is really nice basic road. I personally th didn't like the road texture in it. And actually that's where I got the idea to um, Frankenstein Wendigo's road with this um, sidewalk. So the road that I use in my game is um, a combination of this road and the other one. But um, it's a really nice basic road. They also are uh, the creator of the Maxis Match Lighting mod, which is a really cool sort of alternative to the other mo uh, lighting mod that I use, which my, the name is, is uh, the Radiance Lighting Mod. That's what it's called. That's the one I use right now because of um, doing artsy stuff. But this one's also really cool. Um, and then moving on here, we're just kind of zooming on through here. Uh, this is another creator that I found more recently. And I have like a big folder full of their stuff is Thimble Sims. Um, they have a lot of um, conversion stuff, but also some really cool, like these are some wall painting. Like this is really nice. I really love just this high, like color, high vibrancy. So I should say high saturation style. They've got like this. This is super pretty. I love this color scheme that's going on here. Um, I have highlighted a couple of favorites of theirs, like look at this cute little retro fridge and stuff. Again, I think that's from The Sims 4, but it's really cute stuff. I've recently downloaded this set. I was actually just using it in a build that I was working on, and it's really cute. I like this one, the sort of worn down country kitchen set stuff. Um, cottage kitchen we have here too. It's a really nice one. Lots of lots of good stuff. They have also all kinds of other stuff that I've downloaded of theirs. I love this. This chair is really nice. But yeah, so <laughs> that was kind of a, a fast zoom through of some of my favorites. Again, there's always links in the descriptions of everybody's uh, pages and things. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, next, I'm going to be talking more about some of my favorite uh, Creative Sim uh, content creators, which is uh, a lot. There's a lot. So, all right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm